What's up guys, it's back in the day, VGR again with your host here, Tony. Um, I want to give a shout out uh, to Cobra DVS. Uh, he was the first guy I did my trades with ever on YouTube. And I want to show you what he sent me uh, here in a minute. But I'm going to read here uh, a note he had enclosed in the uh, package that I got. It says, hey Tony, here is the Pac-Man plug and play. I've invited a little oh I included a little bonus for you I saw you pick up the uh, cartridge in one of your last videos so here is the box and manual so you have a complete copy I hope you enjoy best regards Cobra DVS I don't really like to say people's real you know real name on here you know what I mean but uh, Thanks a lot, Cobra. I'm going to show you what he uh, sent me right here. Uh, it took a little long to get this shot out, but uh, and I also picked up some things uh, also at the flea market that I'm also going to show too. But first thing we're going to show here right now is um, the plug and play that uh, Cobra sent me. It's a pack, a Super Pac-Man plug and play uh, right here. Works works perfectly. Uh, this is it right here. This is the plug and play that Cobra DVS sent me. Nice and clean as possible. Works perfectly. Um, love the games on I'm, I'm into plug and plays too. Some people are into plug and plays. Uh, but I just recently started collecting uh, plug and plays. And I do have, uh, I have some more here too that I did pick up at, uh, the, flea, at the flea market. And I'm going to show you here in a minute. And uh, here's another one right here that I have. Um, this is the Activision uh, plug and play right here. Uh, I have the cord wrapped around it. Uh, let me take it and unwrap it so you can see the front of it and the uh, the front of it and what the top looks like. But that's an Activision Activision plug and play right there. Um, it has six games on it. Works perfectly. I only paid two dollars for it. And has some really cool old school games on it, you know. And it's by uh, TV Games Plug and Play. Uh, another one I have here, which is really, I, I actually thought it was really cool um, that I also picked up at the flea market for a buck. And this is a plug and play. And I think one day this will probably be a collectible if it already isn't. But this is the Star Wars Darth Vader there, plug and play, right there. Perfect condition, works perfectly. But that's the Darth Vader uh, plug and play right there. If you can guys can see that pretty good right there. Works perfectly. You know, buttons, nothing sticks. But that's the Darth Vader plug and play. And it has about, I think, I think it has about six games on it too. You know, I'm not, not really sure on that. But uh, I just tried it out, you know. Um, I got another plug and play right here. Uh, this is really unique. I've never seen a plug and a plug and play. Uh, I'm unwrapping the cord here, guys. Give me a hot second here. Um, this is a it's an arcade uh, uh, pinball classics uh, plug and play. And um, when you're ready to play the game and you want to select your game, there's actually a little um, the little knob that goes on the regular uh, pinball machine. You just pull this and bam, there goes the ball, and you play it. I think there's three three or four games on this, too. It's really unique. I did a trade with a lady that I deal with at the uh, uh, flea market. There were only, like, a couple games with no box or anything. You know, I didn't need it because I had extra. But this is uh, this is one of them right This is one of them right here that I got from her, uh, Plug and Play. Um, now, uh, we got a couple games here. Uh, here, I got these games here were from uh, the exchange, and these are Nintendo, uh, these are Nintendo 64 games right here. And, and here's, here's the first one I'm going to show you here. This is called, it's not, not complete in the box, but I like fighting games, and this is, uh, this is, uh, Fighter's Destiny right there. You can see that there. I won't want to move it too much. But that's, uh, Fighter's Destiny. Uh, Fighters Destiny 2, right there, for the uh, Nintendo 64. Uh, kind of a knockoff, sort of like a Virtual Fighter. It's like the 64's Virtual Fighter game, you might as well say. 
Um, this guy, uh, this is another, this is a racing game called Top Gear Rally 2. This one here I picked up at the uh, flea market for uh, only a few dollars there. Um, this one is called World uh, Worldwide Championship. It's a driving game, and it was only two fifty at the uh, Video Game Exchange here uh, in PA. Uh, that's not, it's nice and clean. It's cleaner than the one I just showed you, but it's not complete or anything. But like I says, I I collect complete games, uh, games with uncomplete. You know, it it doesn't really matter to me. Yes, I would like to have a complete, just like my friends on here, but. Uh, if you have a game that I want and you ever want to make a trade, I I would take it uh, not complete. So just to let you know and throw that out there to you guys. Um, another game I got here, I got this game here also at the uh, at the uh, flea market. It's called uh, H. It's called HSX Hypersonic Extreme for the uh, PlayStation 2. Um, in my opinion, the uh, Hydro Thunder on the uh, Dreamcast is way better. But uh, this is a, this is a cool this is a cool uh, futuristic uh, racing hovercraft game. The gr graphics are great. Um, the races are real challenging. Um, it's not complete. It doesn't have the book in it. Here's the back. And she only charged me a dollar for it. So I was like, what the heck, you know? But there's the back of it right there. And uh, last but not least, I picked this at the flea market for only you're not going to believe it's three dollars. I believe this will soon become a collectible because it's a famous show that comes on TV that a lot of people love and enjoy. This is a tabletop family guy. Tabletop family guy game here. The side of it right there. The other side right here. It's a pinball game. It also has um, a light inside when you turn it on. If you could see it right there. Uh, it's 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 really cool. Uh, it's it's an awesome tabletop pinball game. You've got sound. It works great. Uh, buttons here work here. Shoot right there. But that's the Family Guy tabletop uh, pinball game machine I picked up there for three dollars. So that was probably the the probably the best pickup I had out of all these. So um, well guys, I will uh, see you later. There's I just want to say before I go, I have a lot. Of Atari games, 2600. I think some of them are Coleco or, or 7800 too. But um, I'm willing to trade anybody for them. I'm going to do a video on it. Um, they're not complete, you know. They're just uh, the game. But uh, like I said, I, I accept loose games. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. So if anybody out there wants to do a trade for some Atari games, and I also have Atari extra uh, controllers, paddles. And uh, they all work good, and they're in perfect condition. So I will be doing a video on that this weekend. Um, so I'll check you guys out later. Keep gaming. Thanks again, Cobra DVS, and uh, I'll see you soon.